Hey guys, it's Mark Holthy. Welcome back to another lesson in our DIY Express Entry DIY course. In this lesson, I'm going to teach you how to register for your GC key, which is a critical component to the whole process. Without a GC key access, and, and really GC key stands for Government of Canada key, without that access, you can't enter into any of the government systems. So GC key first, then you register for your MyCIC account, and then you have access into the Express Entry online process. All right, let's head over to the web here and let's go to Google. And the easiest way to find it is just to type in exactly as I've indicated here. So the letter G, C, and then key, all one word. And then you can type in login and you can type in Canada. Obviously, Google's going to pull different things wherever you are in the world and then hit enter. You'll know you've got the right one because it's called sign into your IRCC secure account and it's the Canada.ca services application account. I click on here and once I'm here, you will see that you need to scroll down. So you can read this if you want, blah, 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 blah. But eventually you will get here to option one. There are two options you don't want option two. If you're in Canada and you have a Canadian bank, you can also register for a sign-in partner using your bank card, but don't do it. If you change banks, it's a headache because you always have to use that old bank card number. What if you lose it? I don't know. Don't worry about it. Use the GC key sign-in. So I click on here, and then once I'm here, you can see I already have signed in with my own, but you're going to go over here to Simple Secure Access, and you're going to sign up, okay? Once you're here, you can read the terms and conditions, then click I accept, and then you're going to type in your username. For this whole process, we're going to use Stephen and Jennifer Gray, uh, some of the, the fine case study that we did for the couple who is immigrating to Canada. So Stephen and Jennifer Gray are going to be the people that we use throughout this whole process. Um, so create your username. So I'm just going to say Steve Gray. And you'll see here on the right, it gives you the username checklist, the things that you need to have in here, which are pretty broad. So make sure you meet those eight to six characters, no special characters, no more than seven digits. And we have Steve Gray here. We'll continue. And then it'll ask you to enter your password. So same thing, punch it in. So enter your password and you'll see on the right, I am slowly getting check marks on all of those things that are appearing in that little box on the right. Now, I've got nice green check marks all across the board. If it's not registering, it's because you haven't met one of the password checklist requirements. I have, so then I click continue. Now, nope, I don't want to save this password. Now is the time to create your recovery questions, answers, and hints. Fill it in yourself, everybody. When you've got it filled in, make sure you print it off. Print it off and keep a copy or save a PDF version of this page. Whatever it takes, record this because you do not want to lose these. It is a nightmare trying to get your GC key back. That's a master tip. So I'm going to flip back here and I'm going to go here. And this is what I do when I need you to really remember something. And what I want you to remember really, really, really is to print off the questions and answers to security information for your GC key. All right. Okay. Living the dream. Okay. Let's go back. I really wanted to emphasize that stuff. Okay, so figure out your, you just you work with the drop down menus and uh, choose what you want, any of these choices, and you go ahead and fill that in. I'm gonna pull myself back here and I'm gonna enter in my information. You enter in yours, um, and let's just see here. So while I'm talking, uh, we'll come back in just a second and um, yeah, I'll see you on the other side. All right, once you have yours entered in here, then what you're going to do is you're going to click continue. And GC key sign up has now been successfully created. Yay. And I've got my username here, which I've remembered. And of course, you guys made copies of a copy of everything you entered. So then I hit continue. And now it takes me all to, the, all, to all of these lovely terms and conditions, which you can read them at your leisure. I'm not going to explain them to you. And now... This is the part for creating your own MyCIC login. So here's what you do. So you're going to enter in your information. So you guys enter your information in and, uh, and then I'll see you on the other side. 
Okay, I have now entered in my information here, and uh, you can do the same for you. Uh, first name, last name, email address, you can choose English or French, whatever you want, then click continue. Okay, now you have the opportunity to enter in, or you should have had the opportunity to enter in all your information, and then you're gonna click continue. And now it's gonna ask you all of your security questions. Make sure once again, Oh, do I have to do this? Maybe I do. <laughs> Let's do it. Make sure, make sure that you keep a copy of these questions and answers. You must do that. All right. <laughs> okay, back to this. Why do I do this? Because people never do and then they forget them and they can't remember them. So you choose the security question and the answer you want here. Fill it all in. And then um, when you've got that filled in, then we'll, we'll come back. All right, so now that you've got all of your security questions and your answers completed, and you've saved answers to all of those questions, you can click continue. Voila, you are in. You now have your account. And Stephen Gray here is a happy dude because he now has created his GC key and his MyCIC login. And if you scroll down here, ho ho, this is where all of the magic starts. And when we get to the next stage here, how to start an application, we're gonna go right here to apply to come to Canada. All right, this is the end of this video.